Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to At Home with the Royal Butler here in my beautiful garden. I have a wonderful surprise for all of you because quite a few of you have been asking if you can see my garden here and today I'm going to give you a tour. And I have, well, we have transformed the garden. The garden didn't look quite like how it looks today, but we've put a lot of time and effort over the last decade into this garden and created what you see today. And a lot of you will recognise it from the different uh, YouTube programmes that I've done including quarantine etiquette and there's a lot of memories here as you can also imagine over those past 10 years so I'm going to give you a little tour around the garden it's been filmed over it's not just been done today it's actually been filmed over the last few months uh, when we've had some fantastic weather and I also thought as today we're getting to the end of the end of summer I thought it's the perfect time to do this give you a little tour and I'm sure the Royal Dachshunds will uh, make a few appearances and uh, point out a few areas as well. I hope you enjoy this and who knows it might even give you a few ideas of what you can do in your garden as well. The garden you see today has changed quite a bit because when we moved in it wasn't a mess but with a bit of love and dedication, we've transformed it. This border is the largest one in the garden. We made it. We had to clear it, as you can see, and then plant it up. Now, in the last year, in this border, we put a few logs and created a little sanctuary for our hedgehogs that live in the garden. Now, the Cotswolds are famous for the Cotswold stone walls, and I've used some pieces of wall that I found bits lying around to edge the borders, and I think it makes them look even more prettier, if I can say that. Now here we've got the barbecue area. What garden isn't complete without a barbecue? And I created this a few months ago with some old logs. In this part of the garden, I absolutely love it. It's the newest part. It was only planted up about a year ago, but wait till you see what it looked like when we moved in. It has had quite a transformation. And here it is. And of course we have moved the shed to this area, but at one time it was the compost area. And as you can tell, the Royal Dachshunds love this garden. They're always exploring. Hmm. And here's part of the garden that's very special to me. I call it the sanctuary because I go for walks up here in the morning and in the evening and you just feel you get away from everything here. But again, the transformation is unbelievable when you see what it used to look like. And you will see at the end of this little walkway a dining area, which is next to the barbecue, very handy. And I've also got another little shot of the garden looking across. And I'm also gonna show you what it looked like before we did the transformation. So this was how it looked before we moved in. And this shed, I'm sorry to say, is no longer, it was literally about to fall down.
Now in the morning, I enjoy a cup of tea or coffee while sitting at this lovely little table. But once again, before we moved in, this is how it used to look. Now last year, we planted up some David Austin roses in this area. And you recognize these because sometimes I have them sitting next to me when I do my in conversations. Last year, to comply with COVID regulations, as we were allowed to have people in our garden, we created this little outdoor sitting area on our patio. But once again, this area of course is a transformation because even though it's a very smart indoor sit area, this is how it looked when we moved in. It was slightly overgrown and yes, it was in a bit of a mess. The rose you see now is the Highgrove Rose, named after Highgrove House, which of course is the home of my old boss, His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales. And here we have my glass house or greenhouse, which is where I grow all my vegetables. And this was actually getting put into place a few years ago. It's come in very handy and even Shumba enjoys spending time having a look around. At the back of the house, as you can see, there was no border. So we put one in and planted up and now it's absolutely beautiful and full. I should say, even we're amazed at the transformation we've made to this little garden. We've got so many wonderful memories here and we really do love this little cottage and garden.
And there you go. I hope that has given you a, a little insight into my garden, my little home here, and also maybe it's given you a few ideas for your gardens. But as I mentioned, it's the end of summer, we've got autumn soon approaching, all these beautiful leaves will soon start dropping, and then we'll be heading back into winter again. But anyway, as I said, stay safe, and I will see you on Friday for the next In Conversation with Royal Butler.